What a headache! What the hell is that? It smells horrible! I think I'm gonna be sick! That's right. The letter I received. Yeah. It's Shirley. Shirley's in danger! I have to find her now! Here's a door. I need to get out of here. Damn. It's locked. There should be a key. Ah, my head! What's with these headaches? Huh? Something fell. A poster. Where the hell am I? Noise. Alarm clock? How do I turn this stupid thing off? The sound is irritating.
so sorry to see you here. You must have been trapped by me. I can only talk to you in this way, but I will help you leave. Shirley? Is that you? Who trapped me here? Where am I? Shirley? No, I'm not Shirley. You must get out of here now. Otherwise, something horrible will happen. What the hell is going on? Where's Shirley? I don't have much time. You need to protect yourself. The exit is on the second floor. Leave now, quickly. Hold on, don't go! What is going on? I have to find Shirley as soon as possible and get her out of this place. Room 102? So I've been locked up in here. What's that on the floor? A letter? Wait a minute. Isn't this the letter that was sent to me? Yeah, it's the exact same letter Shirley sent to me asking for help. How did it get here? Dear Matthew, help me. Please hurry. I don't know how much longer I'll last here. In Last Harbor. Last Harbor. I remember now. Long Street, while I was looking down at the map. Then I woke up in this weird room. This is a photo of us when we were kids in L.A. She and I are the only ones who can talk to Anyway, she must be in trouble now. Shirley, please be okay. Feels like my head is being torn apart. Are there still people here? Anyway, I hope it wasn't just an illusion. I need to get out of here.
Someone once said, Affection is a gift from the ancestors of mankind. But ruthlessness is a gift that mankind gave to itself. Who are you? Oh, please pardon my rudeness. I am the host here, and all of this is under my control. You may call me the guy guide the puny, the weak, and the wretched, like yourself, to a new world. Are you prepared to receive my gifts? What are you talking about? You're crazy! What have you done to me? Where is Shirley? Now, now, no need to get defiant, Matthew. I have some great entertainment in store for you. You will be amazed. I promise you. Hey! Who the hell are you? Why do you know my name? Where is Shirley? Shirley? <laughs> she really is quite charming, isn't she? Hey, asshole! What did you do to her? Ah! Damn it. Here it comes again, my head! He must have done something to me. I can't remember anything before waking up in that room. And this constant headache. Damn it, Shirley is probably trapped in this house. And that lunatic might be torturing her too. I have to find her before that lunatic kills me.
five, two, zero, three, four, five.
numbers. And they're written on the back of the door. Is that? Yes, Matthew, it's just as you guessed. How about we get rid of that incessant headache? Go on. After all, alcohol is a man's best friend. And I'd be more than happy to treat you. This being the last harbor and all. Last harbor? What is that? Is this all designed by you? What do you want? Where is Shirley? Answer me, you coward! What's going on with the doors here? I can't open this one either. I'm really fed up with these tricks. What the hell does that lunatic want? I hope Shirley's still safe. This bar looks eerily familiar. Have I been here before? Why did I just walk out of the ladies' room?
Thank God, you're still safe. Great, it's you again. I met that lunatic after going out the door. He wants to trap me here. Can you open this door for me? No. I can't do that now. Listen, I don't have much time. And he's coming. Who, that madman? Does he live with you? Who are you? I... I'm Connie. No, you shouldn't be asking me these questions. What was that sound? It came from the kitchen. It's too late. I have to go now. You must regain your memory, Matthew. Quickly, go to the kitchen. Why do I have to go to the kitchen? Because Shirley is there. Who are you? What do you want? Don't hurt Shirley! I'll give you anything you want. Just don't hurt her. No! Shirley! 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 Damn it! What the hell is going on? I am a complete idiot. Letting some TV madman manipulate me like this? TV again. It's 
Probably just Connie. Nice to see you again, Matthew. You've been doing very well, but you must be tired. How about a little motivation? I just want to see Shirley. You told me Shirley was here. Just what do you want from me? I've done everything you asked. No need to get this worked up. I'll tell you soon enough. But first, you should take out the items from the fridge. Do you mean that rotten thing? It looks like some kind of internal organ. I'm sure you saw the knife and fork set on the table when you came in. Well, now you can use it. Eat it. And you'll be yet another step closer to Shirley. No! Why on earth would I do such a thing? I will never ever eat that... that... thing! Mankind is quite a creature of contradiction. Never say can or cannot when you actually mean willing or unwilling. It's up to you. How important is Shirley to you? It's your decision. Now, enjoy your dinner, Matthew. <laughs> It's really hard to cut. It's like some kind of animal heart. Oh my god. Do I really have to eat this? Tick-tock, tick-tock. Do you hear the sound of time ticking by? Shirley is waiting for you, Matthew. Shit, I know! Shut up, you bastard! Matthew, come on now. You can do it. It's just the heart of an animal. Come on. You must swallow it. Do it for Shirley. Once I save Shirley, I swear I'm gonna kill that lunatic. Oh, the smell! It's so disgusting! Close your eyes. Don't think. Just chew. <coughs> swallow it. It'll be over soon. Say, 105? How does it taste? Not so bad, right? And that tag is your prize. 105 is your next destination. What? You made me eat that nasty thing! Just to give me that tag? You told me Shirley was in the kitchen, but there's no one here! You liar! Why do I keep listening to you? I never said you had to listen to me. I told you, it's your decision. Of course, you can choose to just stay here. No! If I were you, I would take some time to think. And then you may remember why you are here.
Sure enough, locked in. This crazy guy fooled me again. Oh man. Oh, my stomach is still turning. But now I have no choice. I have to follow him. I don't really understand what's going on, but I'm sure Shirley is involved. Hopefully I'll find out more here. That trophy, that's a nice memory. He held the trophy, smiling brightly, and gave a speech on stage. I wish time could have stopped at that moment forever. Wait a minute. Do you mean that person in the newspaper? That's right. David, an outstanding man. He seems almost perfect, but it's a complete lie. There are many memories here, both good and bad. Do you know David? Far from knowing. I don't understand. That's Shirley's fiance. What do you know about him? Why are his things here? I... No, he's coming. Run!
Hey, Matthew. <laughs> this room is full of lies. People always believe what they want to believe. To be a gentleman, you just need some sharp clothes and brilliant words. What lies beneath the clothes? <laughs> no one cares anyway. You, of all people, would know that. Ventilation duct. So I must have fallen out afterwards. Hopefully, I got away from that lunatic once and for all. Damn, this room is locked too. a sinful place. 
You can choose to either fight against it, or you can choose to take part in it. But then there are some of us who are just onlookers that do nothing. At least they don't make things worse. Of course you would say that. But in reality, indifference is the biggest culprit of all. It is the soil evil breeds in. The sins are encouraged by that innocent silence. What are you saying? Serving justice is what the police are for. Everyone has their own responsibilities, so you shouldn't expect people to fix your problems for you. You also shouldn't meddle in other people's business either. Meddle? It would seem you have forgotten something important. Perhaps you never cared at all. If so, let me give you some advice, Matthew. Check the closet you just opened. She's been waiting for you for a while. And I have prepared a small gift for you. You will understand what to do next once you see it. Everything seems to be going well. 
And you seem to be enjoying it, right, Matthew? You have to admit that a woman's ornaments are quite fascinating. All I want to do is quickly end this boring and disgusting game of yours. So Shirley and I can get the hell out of here just as you promised. I'm sure I didn't promise anything. Just as I've said all along, all I have done is guide you. To help you regain your memory to find something buried deep in your mind. Since I've been here, I haven't done a single thing that actually helped me under your so-called guidance. One of us must be completely insane. Or maybe you've had the wrong person from the very beginning. I really have no idea what you're going on about. You jump to conclusions too easily, Matthew. Do you see the bed with the beautiful patterns? Put her on it. And then perhaps you'll finally see your Shirley. Let me go! Psycho, this is insane! Shirley, where is Shirley? You lied to me! What have you done with her? Lie? But you've seen Shirley. She's always been there. When you held her, didn't she seem familiar to you? Like you'd seen her before. Shirley was the stench there. And don't forget what you did in the kitchen. The marks on that body weren't just random drawings. To be precise, you and Shirley did more than just meet. <laughs> you. No! It's not true! Ah! Why? Why did you do that? You 
No, although Harbor Town is not as busy as it used to be, this hotel is not that far out of the way. And perhaps there is someone passing by, and perhaps they will hear who calls for help. But just as you said, who wants to meddle with other people's business, right? Now, who calls for help will be ignored by this. Tell me, buddy, can you still believe that? Bastard. Help! Can anyone hear me? I've been kidnapped! Call the police! No. Maybe my name will help you remember. My name is Colby. Colby? Harbortown? Hotel? Who are the boy? Me, however, it's this pain that gives me power. I hope you can enjoy the pain, Matthew. Because the trials waiting for you are far from over.